Another day, another Twitter hearing. Our ranking member on the committee today is Stacy Plaskett, and she is not letting Jim Jordan have an inch. When you debunk the entire hearing before it begins, you know it's going to be a hard day at the office, Jim. Three weeks ago, House Oversight had this hearing with actual Twitter executives who had actual firsthand knowledge about what happened in 2020. And that didn't go so well for the House Republicans because real evidence showed that there wasn't coordination between Twitter and the federal government as they'd like the American people to believe, and that all the so-called Twitter files really showed was a discussion on content moderation and that we only got a fraction of the discussion. So now we're back again, no surprise, what else have they got to talk about? Not what's interested in the American people are interested, not what taxpayer dollars have brought us here to Washington to do. And the Republicans have brought in two of Elon Musk's public scribes to release cherry-picked, out-of-context emails and screenshots designed to promote his chosen narrative, Elon Musk's chosen narrative that is now being parroted by the Republicans because the Republicans think that these witnesses will tell a story that's going to help them out politically. On Tuesday, the majority released an 18-page report claiming to show that the FTC is, quote, harassing Twitter. Oh, my, poor Twitter including by seeking information about its interactions with individuals before us today. How did the report reach this conclusion? By showing two, one, two single paragraphs from a single demand letter, even though the report itself makes clear that there were numerous demand letters with numerous requests, none of which we've been able to see, that are more demand letters and more requests of Twitter. In other words, the conclusions are based on a fraction of information out of context, cherry-picked, surprise, just like the Twitter files.